Chag Sameach, we are nearing the Passover Seder and the celebration of the festival, the festival of freedom, Chag HaChirut. And we share with you, and you can take a look using the link below, we share with you some thoughts for the festival, thoughts about what we may want to take away from the Seder and not just recite the Haggadah that focuses on what brings us into the Seder. So the Festival of Freedom obviously celebrates the uh, delivery from slavery, from bondage. We at Chidush, our mission being freedom of religion and equality, see the need when slavery and bondage is not that prevalent, we see the need to engage in the themes of the Pesach, of the Passover celebration, the notion of freedom of religion. And this year we'll be focusing on freedom of marriage, freedom of marriage and divorce. And it is the theme of religious freedom and religious diversity that is really connected integrally to the concept of Pesach because it is Moses handing down the leadership to Joshua and seeking to find in his successor and pleading with God to appoint a person that meets this criteria as we find in the Midrash and Rashi records it the Lord of Hosts appoint a person unto the community who understands that just as they don't look alike, so they don't think alike, they don't act alike. And the quality, the necessary quality of leadership is that leader who can tolerate and who can relate to each one according to where they are in their life journey, in their religious journey, in their outlook. And that concept of diversity of messages and diversity of interpretations is also associated with the revelation of the Torah on Mount Sinai and the different ways in which the people, the Israelites, received it. And similarly, please bear in mind, the essence of the Passover Seder is not the Knedlach. The essence and the not the matzahs. It is the sense of the whole door of a door, Hayav Adam, Lirot Atzmo, Ki Ilu Hu Yatsa Mimitzrayim. In each and every generation, one must see oneself as if he, she, have actually, personally come out of Egypt. Moses was selected to be a leader because he has demonstrated compassion and caring, not just for fellow human beings and fellow Jews, but even to other God's creatures, such as animals. And it is the beautiful interpretation of Rabbi Shimshon Raphael Hirsch, which you can find below, that points to the fact that as we regain our sovereignty, as we run our Jewish state, civil rights, social justice are essential for a proper understanding and application of Jewish values. It is only a committed commitment to humanity that can qualify as a Jewish commitment. So bear these in mind in the Festival of Freedom, religious freedom, social justice, commitment to humanity, and may we all be able to celebrate a Chag Sameach, meaningful, tasty, and rewarding.